Trump at McDonald's. I've been out of the loop, um, you know, all weekend, had things to do, and I finished up Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's been on Tubi. I uh, just finished the last episode last night of the of uh, the great victory, Spike being her champion. Um, yeah, I'm a Buffy vampire geek. I mean, heck, I like Hercules, Xena. Uh, Xena's on Prime, and so is Hercules. I watched Xena... A couple of months back, I guess it's been, I was binging that on uh, my evenings off. And obviously we have um, the Big Bang. We had bought some episodes. I think we have, which we've had it for several years now. Gosh, several years, maybe a decade. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I lose track of time. But we got the Big Bang. We don't have the last season. I'm like, why did we get everyone and we don't have the last season? So they're like 20-minute episodes. So I'd watch a couple episodes of maybe Buffy in the evening, maybe one or two, whatever it was. And then um, I'd cap off with one or two episodes of Big Bang. Big fan of Big Bang. I My favorite character on Big Bang is Sheldon. I guess that's no big surprise. For Buffy? Oh, man. My favorite characters on Buffy. It's got to be Spike. Harmony. And Harmony wasn't even in it a whole lot. But when she, she went over to Angel, Harmony was funny. Her lines were great. The What episodes she was in uh, on Buffy, I, I just wish there was more Harmony. And Anya... Anya, Spike, Anya, Harmony, my best three characters, favorite characters in Buffy the Vampire Slayer universe. I mean, okay, yeah, you like Angel, you like Buffy, but who were the iconic characters? Who were the... Anya was brilliant, by the way. And yeah, I just got off of watching the whole seven seasons of Buffy, which took me a while to watch them, right? Because they're like, what, 40-some minute, maybe 50-minute episodes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anya was amazing. Her lines and how she interacted with people because she she was a demon for a thousand years of, of vengeful uh, demon for women against men was hysterical. But anyway, enough about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I cut myself off from uh, over the weekend. <clears throat> I mean, I've been trying to do a couple of videos a week of things that do interest me. And I know politics has been the hot topic of late. Um, but during the weekends, I don't want to, I just shut off the, the news and shut off the politics. And then uh, then I get back to it during the week. And then yesterday we, we were busy doing things and I just didn't get a chance to do anything or look at any news or anything like that, which was fine with me. But I get on today and obviously the talk of, of everything and I'm always late to the game by the way, and whatever. <laughs> and here it is, Trump's, Trump went to McDonald's. <laughs> so, I I clipped on a clip a minute ago, and it was, um, Megan Kelly had a panel on, so she played a few clips, and then I thought, you know what, I, I, I didn't even watch her whole thing, but um, I was like, oh, I need to go find the whole video and watch the whole thing. So I have, you know, we're going to watch this. Uh, you can watch it with me or go find it and watch the whole thing uninterrupted. But let's see if it's if it's going to be funny. Now, I did hear him say one thing funny on Megyn Kelly when she showed a clip. And I just started busting out laughing. 
Um, and that's when I was like, okay, I got to stop this. I got, I got to go watch the whole thing. Cause, uh, he said, uh, something about, and I didn't even know about Kamala Harris claiming she worked at McDonald's. I, you know, I'm always under a rock, whatever. But, uh, he said something to the effect that, uh, I just, I've, I've worked the window for 15 minutes and I've worked longer than Kamala Harris has ever worked. And I just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Look, I always say, if you don't like, I don't know how you cannot like Donald Trump. He's funny. He's funny. He's a funny guy. I mean, he just, he's just kind of brilliant at being able to work with this and talk with people. He's really, he's really good at it. So, um, Let's let's take a look at this and and see if we can get some laughs out of this because that was a funny moment that Megan Kelly had uh, aired on her program. Let's see if it's going to be funny. And I've always wanted to work at McDonald's, but I never did. I'm running against somebody that said she did, but it turned out to be a totally phony story. So, if you don't mind, I want to work the French fry counter. Absolutely. Okay, how much are you paying me? How much are you paying you? <laughs> he said he always wanted to work at McDonald's. Come Hello, on. Everybody. Who, who says that? Katie is here. She has, this is in there. She has an apron for you. Oh, and good job on the oh, first day. I think I should take President off. Trump. Should I take off my jacket? So the press wants to see this. <laughs> oh, you. He's a wealthy guy. He owns a lot of McDonald's. Okay. Well, with that waistline, he probably sh should only eat the salads and the yogurt and the Diet Coke. Just saying. Mr. Trump, what's your favorite thing to order at McDonald's? I like it all. I like, <laughs> I like every ounce of it, everything. But I do like the French fries where I'll be working. I listened to uh, Kamala. She said it was so hot. It was so hot. It was such a tough job. But then you have a man that's been doing it for many years at the French Fries, right? I want to learn everything. We're going to see. I'm going to learn how to do it right now. Thank yes. you. Welcome here. So, President Trump, I have a great Jason. JoJo's going to teach you some dry food. I have to hand some food out. And this is Frank. He's going to be more than happy to help you teach for us. That's fantastic. Let's go. Right. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but remember a while back, I, I, God, like I said, I always lose track of time. Uh, somebody had set out a hamburger and, and the, the thing didn't even rot or, or create mold. And that pretty much did it for me. And also with my food allergies, did it in for me too. Now, when I did, we, we, we used to enjoy going to McDonald's. We would get, get a beverage and, uh, sometimes we'd just go to get fries. We'd get fries and a drink. And then here they did a test thing where I live. I don't even know if they still have it because I, I can't eat that mess anymore. So it's been a while, but I guess about two years ago or so they had a basket of fries. Like, literally a basket, and it was fabulous because I always loved McDonald's french fries. I still do. I just can't eat them, um, which is probably a blessing and a I, – I, I don't want to use the word curse, but at the same time. But it's probably good because, you know, I'd get big as a house if I could continue to eat how I used to eat. But it it kind of uh, – with, with the whole – the the sandwiches not being able to mold or de decay it's like it was disturbing <laughs> so i mean my kid yeah he loves he loves a quarter pounder or uh the big mac and every now and then okay we can get one you know i'll i'll get you one but it's not like something we do a lot plus good god it's expensive to go out out to eat um that kind of thing but but I used to get when I when I did go. Let me get back to that. Uh, but you know, I'd get the basket of fries, and then sometimes I I just order off the dollar menu, and it wasn't because it was just going to be cheap. Well, a little bit, but um, I liked the little dollar chicken sandwiches. They they were just phenomenal. I'd get the the a couple of dollar chicken sandwiches, a small fry, and a, a drink, and and I was I was good to go. Uh, and, that way, but um. Anyway, just, uh, yeah, it's it's not real healthy, guys. I know it tastes phenomenal, but 
just had to throw that out there. We're going to start over here on the fry hop. I'm going to take the lead at first and show you the basics, and then I'll pass it over to you. All right. Okay. So, first thing you do. Yeah, come on. Come on over. Thank you, sir. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that fry. Yeah. First thing we're going to do the fry. Slowly and gently lower them in. So we don't burn ourselves. We're going to hit the fry timer. And then we got a lot of fries today, so we're going to cut another basket out. Grab the basket out. Lower it in. And then hit the timer. Now, within a couple of seconds, the duty timer is going to go off. When that duty timer goes off, that basically means that the fries, we need to lift them out of the oil and shake them so that way they don't get stuck together. Um, and then after that, we're going to put it back down. We're going to let the, the fryer cook. And then when they're done, we're going to bring them up to here. So, over here, should he be wearing all your fry right here. Just saying. There's a duty timer. So, duty timer, we're going to press it. We'll lift it out of the oil. We're going to give it a couple shakes and put it back into the oil. Okay. Same thing over here. Timer, out of the oil. A couple shakes. Wow. Back into the oil. And when those are done cooking, um, our fry station, we got extra small, small, medium, and large partners all right there for you. Um, a lot of our orders today are going to be medium, so that's what we're focusing on. We've got the AccuSalt dispenser right here. So we're going to dump that on there. The way that this works, it is already measured for you, all the salt. So all you got to do is turn it over, let it dispense, and that's that. Yep. Um, that's really bad. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you done this? Uh, eight years. And you're oh very good at it. Right? I appreciate that. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, one other thing. We're going to make sure you separate the fries when we put it into the fry station. Oh, my God. All right. I'm a nerd. It made me think of the Buffy episode, and I don't know what the episode was called. Is when she goes and works for that fast food restaurant, and the and the manager's like a lifer, and he had like a ten year button on his on his shirt. All right, you Buffy Buffy fans out there, you probably know what I'm talking about. And then at the end of the episode. Where she comes in and she says, "Well, yeah, I know what the secret ingredient is. It's it's like the it was just a mint, mint. It wasn't even real meat. It was like a vegetable mesh product with uh, meat, fat, or oil or whatever it was. And then uh, she had a five year button. So she's like, where are you going to see yourself?" <laughs> and Buffy's face. It's like when the guy. Well, when the manager, when she first starts working there, he has the tenure button. He's a lifer. <laughs> this guy's been there eight years. Wow. They must pay him well. I mean, for him to be there and he's got insurance. And now look, I'm not making fun of him being there for eight years. That's that's fabulous. He, You get a job you love. He must love it. He's been there eight years, so he loves it. So, hey, whatever makes you happy, do it. But anyway, it made me think of a Buffy, the Buffy episode, by the way. There you go. <laughs> so we don't want to mix old fries with new fries. Um, we want to keep them all fresh and ready to go for the customers. Um, I can show you real quick this for the carton. When you're opening these cartons, you're going to push them aside, push that, move that bottom part up, and then that's that. And then we're going to hold them like this. I've had many of those. <laughs> there you go. I probably had more than you. <laughs> probably, yeah. Um, Which is pretty sad when you get ready. <laughs> You know, no, really. He's been there eight years. He's eaten a lot of fries. We're going to make sure the fries are put them in through that. Yep, exactly. We're going to grab our fries scoop and we'll put them in there. That will be that. Um, also, when the fries come up, we're going to give them a squirrel, make sure they're all evenly salted and everything like that. And then we'll put them on the fry ribbon. We're ready to go for the, for the orders. Um, what do you sell? Mostly medium size? Exactly. What what percentage of them? That's going to be a dare question. What percentage of medium fries? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't. But know. mostly. Yeah, I think yeah, each exactly. location is a little different. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's good stuff. Yeah, that's good. And then once once these come up, I'll salt them. I'll make a couple for us, and then I'll pass it over to you, and I'll kind of stand by and make sure that they're Very good. Very good. And we'll probably drop it. Once, once it's your turn, we'll probably drop another basket, and then I'll take care of these. You'll take care of your basket. <laughs> he's he's yeah, getting his own basket. Not yeah. bad, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a nice shoulder. Be careful, yeah. right there. Regular, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Eight years, that's the end of that. <laughs> I'm going to the Pittsburgh game to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Should be good? Yeah, it should be a good game. It should be a good game.
a very good one. So how long did it stay in your hand? Probably three minutes. So you do the initial shake, you do a shake after that? Oh, so, uh, no, not really a shake, so the cool timer's going off, we're going to hit the timer, we're going to lift them up, hang them onto there, and then we're just going to drain them. So we're going to hold it here for around 10 seconds, <laughs> the wheel drain off them, we'll do these ones too. Them up, drain them, probably 10 seconds, and then we're done, we're going to lift this, two hands, over, drop it in. And then we can put all of our old baskets right over here. All right, if you were filled for the next time. There was a fry Same left thing. in that basket. I saw it. Man, drop it in. Fry the basket. Right and you always keep them separate? Yeah, exactly. Don't want to mix old, old and new. Right. Now we get our AccuSol. Fold it over. You don't got to shake it or anything like that. Dispense exactly what you need. Wow. And then like that. That's done. And then we start making fries. We grab our medium carton. Size. That is bottom. efficient. And then you're not wasting. That's pretty good, I'll tell you. I don't know. The I mean, the last time I ate fries, and I know it's like like I said, it's it's been. Gosh, when's the last time I had fries? It might have been two years, maybe. But I noticed from the last time I had fries and then back over over years, it seemed like they, they weren't salting the fries. Let me know if anybody's watching this. Uh, did y'all notice a decline in the salt? <laughs> well, maybe because I'm older and I seem like I need more salt for flavor on my food. I know your taste buds change as you continue to get older and, you know. You seem like you need more seasoning. I use sea salt, by the way, in my home. Uh, it's it's better, I, whatever. But um, but I did notice a decline in the salt on on the food, and I understand some people can't have a lot of salt and, and things of this nature. Just let me know what y'all think. Are we allowed to give any to the fake news? Hey, by the way, did you see the crowds out there for the fake news? They've never seen crowds like that. <laughs> Take you a long time to beat that one, man. That's a lot of people. What do you think, Doug? Well, gotta say, gotta report back. There's something going on. Something's happening, Margo. Something's that. That's not normal. Are <laughs> you gonna give it a try? I do. You think it's gonna be over here? You wanna grab the basket two hands? And then you can go right into here on the left. Yep, slowly, gen uh, right here, right here. Slowly, gently lowered into the oil. Don't want to burn yourself. Up, uh, down. And down one. There you go. Oh, he had to help. And then we're gonna hit our fry timer right here. That one's going good. Now we can drop another one too. So we'll grab one more basket, two hands. Yep. We're gonna put it right here. Okay. Let's see if he'll get this one. Come on. Oh yeah. He can be taught. Yeah. Now we're waiting for that duty timer. So now when that duty timer comes up, again, hit the timer, take it out of the oil slowly, give it a little shake so that we don't get stuck together, and then lower it back into the oil. Okay. So we'll probably What's cool is that it all has uh, timers on it. You just push a button. And that also reminds me of Buffy. When she's getting trained at the counter to to take people's orders everything had the guy goes uh, a moron could do this the guy training her in the buffy episode where everything had like a picture of a coffee and then you'd hit coffee and then you'd hit if it was small large and then it had everything you know it was all pictures <laughs> it, it was funny okay i know i'm a nerd so here everything is just timed that's pretty cool makes it simple this one will probably go off before anybody else. Yep, there we go. That'd be good, you guys. So now lift it out of the oil. Two hands. Start putting slide on that. Shake. And then slowly back into the oil. That's good. And then we got another one going off. So duty time right here. Hit that button. Good. And then out the oil. Shake. And back into the oil. And then our last one is going to go off. We'll give that a few seconds. 
I'm going to need a few more fries. That's good. Yeah, let's make some more. Got about 10,000 people out there. <laughs> That's a big crowd, huh? Mr. Trump, why did you feel it was important to come here today? Uh, I love McDonald's. I love jobs. I like to see good jobs. And I think it's inappropriate when somebody puts down all over the place that she worked at McDonald's. It was a big part of her resume that she worked at McDonald's, how tough a job it was. Uh, she specifically worked at the French fry, where they make the French fries. And she talked about the heat. It was so tough. She never worked at McDonald's. McDonald's just confirmed that again, by the way. She never worked at McDonald's. In other words, she's lying Kamala. <laughs> Great setup, huh? Come on, that is funny. <coughs> Lion Kamala. <laughs> well, I guess she has to keep up with Tim Waltz where he said he was at Tenement Square. Is that where he said he was? There's some if we you were there, you weren't there. It's just funny. Grow a spine, people. That's hilarious. I don't know. I find political humor funny. And he's being serious, which makes it even funnier. Lying Kamala. It's, it's right up there with Crooked Hillary. Tampon Tim. Come on. This is funny stuff. Funny stuff. So what's the second hand for a lefty? Exactly. Yeah. That's, so you have lefty so that had a Yeah. Oh, I'm a lefty. You have no salt fries. You have your right hand. You have a hand for left. Yeah. That's where you're missing, huh? Exactly. Yeah. So this one's not done. Yeah. 20 seconds on that one. And that one's up. We're going to, once it starts beeping, we'll take pull. We're going to hit the pull timer. Okay. We're going to lift it out of the oil. We're going to hook it onto here. All right. Lift the handle up to let it drain. Give it like 10 seconds. Once it's done draining, we're going to bring it over to the left side. Put it into there. Yeah. Salt. And then take it off. Come on. Do they have some? Looks good, huh? These are definitely fresh. <laughs> the good thing, they're definitely fresh. Can you take a step back, sir? Oh. Oh, oh what's right he talking to? Okay. Could you imagine you the security that's in this McDonald's and, and this on the outside? The so that way get rid of the oil. Uh, and then that's good. We're going to bring them over directly to this one. Oh, yeah. Two-handed. Right. He's going to dump it. Oh. Very good. Grab one while it's really hot. <laughs> See if you can touch that sucker. I don't think so. Now we're going to bring that basket already all the way yeah, over to the right. Yeah, all the way down. Up there. I remember that. And then we got another pool timer. We got that timer. Bring that one up. I'm going to take care of these. Okay. okay. guys going through the drive through and, and they, they're like, okay, it's going to be a minute on your fries. It's going to be three minutes. Three minutes to cook. And then whatever, what, another 30 seconds for him to drain it, dump it, salt it, pack it, and then get it out to you. So you're looking at maybe four minutes. So it's like, oh, we, we're out of fries. Well, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> at least you'll get them fresh. Just saying. Right there, so grab that. Should we give them extra salt? No, no, no. Can you order extra salt? And then we're going to grab the surprise scoop right here, right. put it into there, and give them a okay. swirl. So, step, step out. Okay, where's the little thing? Medium fry cart right here, yeah. sides, and the bottom. Just step out. Never even touch it, huh? Okay. Exactly. Hey, don't, don't, wow, that's pretty good. And then you're going to put it right up here on this fryer. Okay, sure. Can okay. I give it to these guys here? Thank you. Want to do another one? Yeah. So, again, okay, we're going to sides, bottom, right. and then we're going to hold it like this, so that way we don't squish the Okay. Fry. The, the camera exactly. crew is hungry right now. Food. They're smelling all this McDonald's food. Okay. Which makes you want it. We'll probably get another scoop in there. We'll make it Wow. I'd be eating if I could. I ain't gonna lie. You wanna do another one? But yeah. the whole then, thing is not um, deteriorating, just really, really turned me off. So we can put it right over here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Let's go. That, go. Hold it up there, good. And then you can hang that one right back over there. Thank you. Wow, yeah. And then we'll grab our salt. Out. And then just one dump. No movement. Good, good, good. good. Let's shake it up. Grab the fries, good. And just get a swirl. Get it all, all that salt mixed up in there. Back cool. Then we're going to take from these ones first. They're just first in, first out, like the freshest one. Turn it up. Oh, they're telling that guy to move so they could see him do the action. on it. They said, dude, step back. Never touches the human hand. Very good, very good. Nice and full. Thank you. Good. Do another one, yeah, keep going, man. You got a line outside. You don't need way more than that. Never touched by a human hand. Nice and clean. Of course, my hands are nice and clean. <laughs> we hope you washed your hand for you. This guy's started. a good instructor. I appreciate it. Wow. I'm going to give a really big one so that look at that thing just pouring out of the cup. <laughs> How good is that, Margo? Here, Margo, have them. <laughs> She's been with me a long time. She's the only one can afford to have them. Now, do you want to keep going with the fries? Or do you want yeah, as expensive as they are. Now, how about we bag them now? Exactly. Okay. Well, we're going to bag JoJo. JoJo's going to help you with the bag. JoJo, you're an expert at this, huh? Right? Let's go. Thank you. Thank okay, you. President Trump, so for our first order that's going out the window, we're going to need three medium fries. So, would you like to add, put the medium fries in the bag? I think so, yeah. So, we'll do that. I think I can do you know who's taking these, right? Mine. Do they ever ask for more salt? Sometimes. Supposing we want some extra salt, can we just go like that? Um, we will give them salt packets. What do you say? Salt packets. <laughs> I, I love salt. Wait a minute. I, I know, salt. right? I do too. Just, I'm very superstitious. I love salt. No, it's over the left shoulder now. Let's go. All right, yep. So, we will start from this side. Yeah, then. fine. Standing up, right? Correct. Oh, right. Jojo, you're an expert at this, huh? Yes. How long have you done, done this? How long have you been? Um, I've been working with them 10 plus. 10 plus? Yeah. All different jobs? Yes. Wow. She's doing a good job? She does an excellent job. She's better, right? 10 excellent plus? Job. Beautiful. Let's go. All right. That's impressive. Uh, I, if I was going to eat McDonald's, I'd want to go to that McDonald's. Y'all like know. Six, you I don't know. One thing I have discovered over the years is that, you know, you, you live in an area, your city, and there's there's different McDonald's in different parts of your city. Some McDonald's are better than others. Whether they taste fresher, the the customer service is better, the, the person's really friendly at the window. I, it makes a huge difference. Or you go inside. If the bathrooms are disgusting, you you don't want to eat there no more. Do y'all know what I mean? I have y'all noticed that the when I was a kid, uh, uh wow, Kentucky Fried Chicken's been around longer than me, I'm sure. And uh Kentucky Fried Chicken when when my parents would get it, we're gonna have Kentucky Fried Chicken that night. Oh, it was exciting. It was exciting. They'd bring home the bucket of chicken. I think Dad had to get us two buckets for for all of us and in and, and all the sides and the biscuits and the mashed potatoes and the gravy and the coleslaw. Oh man, it was wonderful. It always tasted so delicious. And then I'm an adult. We go, I don't know how many years ago it was. I always say that because I don't remember the last time I ate. I, I, it was several years ago. Probably it's been a decade. Maybe less or something like that. But we had went to Kentucky Fried Chicken and it was awful. I was like, oh my God. Now, it could have been the one that we went to, which is a big possibility. But it was terrible. And so I have noticed a decline in quality quality and service and then i got to thinking in my head well it's it's fast food what do you expect but back in the day when when uh, colonel sanders was alive he I, I saw something about it and i thought it was interesting he would go around to all of his stores that he had open to make sure Everyone you went to, the quality was there, and they all tasted the same, no matter which one you went to. And I think McDonald's, if 
I'm pretty, pretty sure McDonald's followed their design. By any McDonald's you go to in the world, they're going to taste the same. I had worked at a hotel, <clears throat> and I had to take a management class. So we went to this, it, was, it wasn't a management class, it was a it was. Uh, uh, it was like a training or, or, or a seminar. Like, yeah, it was more like a seminar for the managers, right, to go, right? So they asked me to go, so I, I go. And these are things that they talked about. It's um, these franchises, even though they're franchised, they still keep the quality of the original. And I, I found that fascinating, and I thought, wow, that that's interesting, because even though you're a franchise, you still have to hold to the standards where it's going to have to taste the same and all of this stuff. But I do think the quality's gone down as far as service and the quality of the food. So the five is fine. Five. Five. Uh, first order is three medium fries and they're waiting for you. Okay, very good. Let's go. Yeah, those people want their oh, food. Oh, now I'm going to see that. Oh, that's your customer. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's pretty good. Okay, let's say. Can you believe this? Look at this guy. He's a MAGA guy all the way. Okay, so for his first order. Yeah. Well, that's a good looking group. Hello, everybody. This is not a normal situation, is it? <laughs> what a good looking family. Oh, thank you. How did you produce those good looking people? Oh, they look like, <laughs> they look like the what? They look like the what? How are you? Thank you. Oh, that guy in the back seat's right. got a cell phone. Thank you. Thank you. And there'll be no charge. Trump is paying for it. Is that okay? This, oh, you ordered some extra stuff. Oh, okay. This is, this is all on Trump. Oh, hold on. I'm allowed to do that. Right? So it's an apple pie. Come on, it's America. It's everything you said it would be. It's better be. Where it's going to be the, the best I made it myself. Who's Never getting the happy meal? That's the guy in the back. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time. Have a good time. That's, that's great. I, I didn't see any kids, maybe. Car? The next car? Yeah, maybe a boat You like a boat oh at the same time? Yes, that is great. Hello, how are you? You're a good looking guy. We love you. Give me a respect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will. I promise. Thank you very much. That's, that's on me. Okay? Have a good time. Thank you very much. I want to see somebody come up and go, I, I just don't like you. That would be hilarious. Could you imagine the security before they're going through the drive-thru? It just occurred to me. They're probably having to search the car. Do they have dogs sniffing for bombs? I don't know. I, there's all this stuff I'm thinking. Like, good Lord. Here we go. See you. See you at the White House. I'll see you at the White House. Yeah, invite me to dinner. Come on, we have another order coming up. <laughs> and this is their I mean, that's order? thousands of people right there. Hello, how are you? What a beautiful woman. They, they have to know. They have to know. Like perfect looking person. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Good luck to you. Mom over there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. You have a great mom? Good or great? That's right. You know what to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. Wow. So nice. All right. You're doing a good job. Okay. These are nice people we're meeting, huh? Yeah, and this is so he, so you hear one yeah. Well, we're not hearing the person take the orders. How you doing, this sir? Fantastic. Hello. Well, maybe they're they're on the other oh, side. Taking the orders to the doctor. So this is complimentary. I would have thought okay. we'd have heard it. Right. You go have a good time. Don't eat too much, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. He said don't eat too Thank much. You. Have a good time. Thank you. I think he needs to uh, work on his uh, this diet. This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. <laughs> I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. I Thank you. Look at oh, that. Mr. Look at that. Oh, How are you? Thank you, Mr. President. You made it possible for ordinary people like us to meet. Oh, you're not ordinary. I mean, thank you so you much. Are not ordinary. You are I can see. We pray for you. Oh, and you. Uh, you are the type of person we want to be the president. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So nice.
Thank you very much. Yeah, I took a bullet. That's right. Thank you, Mr. President. When you think about it, I guess that's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Beautiful you wife. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you so This is crazy. Thank you very much. God bless you. Great honor. Have fun. Okay, then, uh, this will be your next order, the next order. Both of them? Yeah. Oh. Hand them both. Hello, everybody. I'm having a lot of fun here, everybody. Oh, look, my God. Oh, my God. Fake, look at all the fake news over there. Oh, Hello, I'm everybody. <laughs> you can take this, right? And you know, this oh is complimentary. Okay? Yes, thank okay. you. Mr. President, yes. please don't let the United States become Brazil, my native Brazil. Oh, we'll, we'll please. keep it good. Please, please. We're going to make it better than ever, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure, Mr. President. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you over there. Oh, you're the kids. Teenagers in the Have back. Thank nice you. to see you. Bye, darling. Have a good time. Thank you. There's going to be a lot of videos. Are you thinking yourself? I'm going to take plenty. I'm going to definitely have French, French fries for the plane. Have you seen the people over there? That is thousands of people. How are you? Nice to see you. Here's my guy. It's so Great, great, great so many cinematographer. How much Not enough. <laughs> I want more. I want more money. No, That's funny. I'm, I'm big. I'll tell you what, it's a great franchise. It's a great company. And they've been very, very nice. And, uh, and tell, you know, if, if you look at really what's happening, look at the crowd over there. Look how happy everybody is. They're happy because they want hope. They need hope. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to give much more than hope. We're going to make, we're going to take hope and make it fact. Mr. you actually have worked at McDonald's now. Versus now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Okay, she, she never worked here. I've now worked 15 minutes more than Kamala. So I worked at McDonald's. I'm going to say, why is it? Because she's lying Kamala, that's why. Why would she lie? She shouldn't lie about it. McDonald's confirmed four times now. She never worked. She oh my never God, it's hilarious. But that's, let's not talk about that. It's an amazing business, it's an amazing country, and we're going to make America greater God. than ever before. We're going to do it. And it's companies like this. Look at the enthusiasm. I mean, that's thousands of people over there. They go miles back. That's incredible. So, look at that. We'll be at the Pittsburgh game tonight, and we look forward to it. And it should be a good game. And uh, yeah, good team. They have a great coach. It's a great, great coach. And we'll see how it a is. A great coach. Yes. Well, this is a great job to take at the beginning. And it requires uh, expertise. I'm going through the French fry stuff. It's a whole, it's a whole big process. And it requires great expertise, actually, to do it right and to do it, and to do it fast. Yeah. Well, I do appreciate it. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I, I, you take it for granted. You say, give me French fries. I'll never forget this experience, okay? Now I know how to do it. <laughs> well, guys, when I was coming up, okay, well, fast food restaurants was a, a fabulous opportunity for teenagers to get a job, earn some money so you can go buy the sneakers you want or clothes for school for the uh, fall coming up year. Now, I mean, it is so expensive to eat there because they're paying them, what, $15 an hour? <sighs> it's supposed to be jobs like that. To, to me, okay, but my opinion is these are stepping stone jobs. And they're great, but now you have... You have people who, uh, the, 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 these two particular workers that worked with him, one's been there eight years, one's been there ten years, which is fine. If you want to stay there, work up and become a manager, assistant manager, that's great. That is absolutely great. But most of the, I would think 90% of the time it should have been a stepping stone job. Where you're working on the weekends during the school year. Or maybe one or two nights a week if your grades are up and that you you need the extra money and work you a few hours a week, maybe 20 hours a week for the cash. And then the summertime, you pick up more hours. So these type of jobs were, were initially stepping stone jobs. 
Now it's become permanent jobs. You see older and older people, which they need money because the economy is bad. But I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not an economist, but I, I do think that it's, I don't know how they're staying open. It's just so expensive to go and eat there. Guys, I, I don't know. That's just me. That's what I think. Very good. But you know what? It's beautiful. It's and, and, well, what I mean by is that, that, that it's so expensive to eat there because the, the it offsets the cost. When they up the how much they're going to pay you working at McDonald's, the the cost goes to the consumer. That's basically how it works. It's really nice. You never touch them. I always figured somebody stuffs them in with their hand, and I don't like that. <laughs> and they don't do it that way. They, they you never touch them. It's really great. So I want to thank you all for coming out. And we're going to see you soon. We'll see you at the next stop. And then we'll see you later on at the game. I love Pennsylvania. I went to school at the Wharton School at, at Penn. So I love uh, I love Pennsylvania. You always have. President, are you going to the Trump store? It's around the corner. It's about two miles down. They have a Trump store? Yes, sir. I'd love to go. I don't know if, if Secret Service could work it out, I'd go there. How, how about that? Can we do it? Can we go to the Trump store? They have a Trump store. <laughs> I don't know, people open up Trump stores all over the country, and they're beautiful. It's two blocks down, they say. That is beautiful. Check it out. Take a look, sir. I, I do it in two seconds. They have Trump stores all over the place. I get nothing out of it. You know what I get? The presidency out of it. That's all I get. Anyway, I love these people. They open up the Trump store. They do great. And that makes me feel good. Thank you. We're going to take a look at the Trump store. If Secret Service can do it, I'm doing it. I like the idea. What's we have plenty take of time. Out order? What's huh? the take out order? I don't know. What do you want? Do you want something when you're there? French fries. I'll tell you what. How about if we gave you some French fries, all right? There you go. Are you a, that's sort of a bribe, but I think a bribe for a buck is okay, right? I'm going to get you some French fries. Somebody come up here and take them. Let's get them some French fries, okay? This is for the fake news. These guys don't get any. They're too. They're nice and warm and comfortable, right? All right, good. For the Give fake a couple news. More of that. Yeah, oh, you're very brilliant. stingy with the product. Oh. Look at that. She's a good worker. You want to have. That's the kind of people you want to have work. She gave them one fresh fry to 30 reporters outside. Oh, my God. Like two in the back? Yeah, two in the back, yeah. Okay. Two in the back. Thank you. We'll throw them out the window. <laughs> <laughs> You having a good time today? Yeah. Pretty good, right? Hey. Very That's good. brilliant. Well, a lot of people look forward to kept saying, when are you going to McDonald's? And I said, let's do it. So that's, and we have the owner, we have a man that's a friend of mine, that's a great guy. How many McDonald's do you own? I don't own I just set this up. I'm the health club. Yeah, yeah, but you, uh, well, oh, I don't, don't they go well? I know you're in the health club. Yeah. I think <laughs> you, what you do is you eat McDonald's and you go to the health club. Yeah, it works out. Actually, pretty good. Thank you, Doc. That's cool. Here you go, kids. Go have these. There's, there's plenty of them in there for you, okay? Grab, All right, thanks. You want to move them back? Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll sure. Here, here you go. What do you think? This will move the needle for you in Pennsylvania? I don't know. I'm doing very well. We're leading by quite a bit. Uh, she has no fracking. She's never, she's never, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna have no fracking. That's gonna have, of course, Pennsylvania, 500,000 jobs. And, the revenues uh, untold. How do you connect with us? <laughs> I think just by being myself. I want to be myself. All I want to do is be myself. They know what they have. We have the best economy ever. We have the strongest borders ever. We have the, a military that knocked out ISIS in a few weeks as opposed to years, which they were thinking they would take. We beat ISIS in literally uh, record time, uh, very quickly and decisively. And uh, we did a great job. But we have the greatest economy ever. We have the best. How come there's not more people coming through the drive-thru? Like again, I said the Secret Service, I mean, it's a... They can't... This could be dangerous. We all know creepy people go to McDonald's. Even our friends... And we change a lot of those trade deals, and we're going to change the rest, and we're going to bring, we're going to bring jobs back to our country. Either way, will you accept the results? Yeah, sure. If it's a fair election, always. I would always accept it. They if it's fair. It's a fair election. We're leading in all the polls. Now. How long is this video? It's doing well. It's, no, a few more minutes. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. In fact, we just had an RCP 
said we're a 93.2% chance of winning. I think that's pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see. Those are pretty good odds. I like that. I like that. I'll take that right now. So thank you very much. Hi. Who are you with? I'm with CBS Philadelphia. CBS, are they the ones that did 60 minutes? Yes, yes. Are they the ones that changed your answer to make it positive? Uh, I'm not with the network. I'm with the network. Oh, the yeah. same thing. Okay. So, uh, well, we can't write the same thing, but when some people say that Harris might be more unifying, unifying, I think she's the most divisive person I've ever seen. Oh, so. And she lies about her uh, job applications and she. She's uh, she's nice and horrible lies, but she's a very divisive person. And I think it shows up in the polls. I think I'm the one that brings everyone together. And we had the greatest economy we've ever had. We had the best job numbers ever. Uh, we had the best border ever. The Border Patrol, by the way, for those that haven't heard, the Border Patrol a couple of days ago gave us their complete and total endorsement. They said Trump was the best president we've ever had, and they said she was the worst we've ever seen at the border. She did the job she did on the border, and that really breaks our country apart. They allowed, they allowed, they allowed 20 people into the country, 21 million people, uh, 15,000 of which were murderers, released from prisons all over the world. Uh, the reason why I'm chuckling is because how he says it. He says she's just the worst they they just told me she's just the worst they've ever seen. <laughs> she's just terrible. <laughs> I mean, he is, he's being serious. He's not laughing. He's being they're asking her a question. Well, and he's like, hey, we had the best economy ever. Uh, the border just came out and Border Patrol just came out and completely endorsed me, said you were the best president we ever had fix, fixing the border. And he's like, Kam Kamala was just, just been the worst. <laughs> Maybe I'm just in a giddy mood today. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for Thank you. Grab some before you lose them. He's my kind of guy. Eat them on a hot. Cold fire. Okay. You're doing a great job. You're doing a good job. Thank you, everybody. So we'll see you at the next stop. But I hope you're going to grab that crowd because they said that's how many? 10,000? How many TikTok channels? TikTok. How many hits do we have on TikTok? 10 billion views. And that's TikTok Jack. Because very, uh, very focused. Yeah, BB called me this morning, and he's obviously got things going well. He will call me on occasion. I think he likes to hear what I have to say. Uh, yesterday morning, and uh, a couple of, couple of days before. Uh, well, I can't tell you that. That I can't tell you. Would, Stop saying. It would be very inappropriate. But uh, they're certainly in a better position, and fortunately, they didn't listen to Biden and to Harris. You know who Harris is, right? Kamala. Uh, they wanted to. They didn't want him to do this, and Israel is much safer now than it would have been if they had to. Uh, they, they did not listen to Biden or Harris. Okay. So we go to we go to the next step. Well, I think this. I think these people work hard. They're great. And I just saw something in the process. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing to see. These are great franchises. And produce a lot of jobs, and it's great. And great people working here too. Really, really good people. So yes, for me. Yeah. It's Kamala's birthday. He's 60 years old. Yes, I would say happy birthday, Kamala. She's turning 60. Uh, I think I'll get her some flowers. Maybe I'll get her some fries. I might be. I'll give, yep. her, give her some McDonald's. I'll get her a McDonald's. Mm -hmm. No, it is her birthday. It is true, right? Happy birthday, Kamala. Happy birthday. See you later. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Trump, thank you very much. That's a strange place to do a news conference. <laughs> Wasn't that a strange place to do a news conference? Uh, I want to thank you very much for the use of your beautiful store. It's essentially a store. And uh, that's great. So you know about the Trump store down the block? That's nice. Right. Are we going to be able to go there? It's about 30 minutes down the road. We're oh, 30 minutes. That's yeah, not down. That's a long way. We'll pay it our regards. Right? Good job. Thank you very Thank much. You. How long have you had it?
This location about yes. a year. I've been an operator for 12 years. I see. So this is a good location? Yes. Are you going to be able to be there for 10,000 people outside? Or maybe it's a lot of people, right? you got to say, that's uh, impressive, isn't it? Very impressive. Thank you all. Who are you with, NBC? CBS, sir. CB oh, CBS. You mean the home of 60 Minutes? I don't work there. They did a bad there? thing. They got caught. They got caught <laughs> in there. Hand in the cookie jar, as they say. That wasn't good at 60 Minutes. Don't worry. They won't put this on. <laughs> Have a good time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. He said they did a bad thing. They got the... <laughs> <laughs> guys this was this was fun this was fun i mean he saw the things he says the things he does is here. She has I mean, lion kamala lion kamala abc fake news they did a bad thing oh man Kamala's the worst. They said she's just the worst. This is... That's why I don't know why people don't like him. He doesn't sound like a regular politician. He didn't back then in 2016 either. And I never felt like he was... Uh, everybody... A lot of people say he comes across as angry and stuff. Well, you know what? He has a reason to be angry. I get angry about this woke crap being pushed down our children's throats. I'm angry about the border. Why don't you want to see a politician get angry about this stuff and just say, oh, he's just an old, angry, rich, white guy? I mean, it's just absurd. I don't know. Doesn't make no sense to me. But anyway. I hope y'all like my little bit of uh, comments on Buffy. I mean, I mean a couple of th this totally reminded me of it when that guy said I've been here eight years. I had a flashback of that episode. She's working there. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. And then that monster that eats the people who, who the, the the old lady, the thing comes out of her head, and then she says, "Oh, I just love the new ones who are just filled up with the burgers." <laughs> She liked it when they ate when they ate the food. So when she ate them, they tasted better. <laughs> I know I'm I'm a geek. That's I'm a geek. But anyway, I enjoyed that. Uh, remember, get out and vote, Christians. Get off your butt. Make sure you go vote. Do your duty as a Christian. Pay attention to the policies and things that are at stake. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, go check out their policies. What is best for you? What is best for your children, your grandchildren? And have a great rest of your week. Thank you.